dial caliper description and use. So here we have the dial caliper. We're going to learn how to use that. Dial calipers are arguably the most common and versatile of all precision measuring tools used by engineers and manufacturers. So we have these in class and you've probably seen them and touched them. Um, they're very sharp, the edges are, so you have to be really careful when you're using the dial caliper. Okay. There's four measurements on a dial caliper. So you can measure the outside diameter of an object, the inside diameter of a hole. There's a step distance and hole depth that we can measure, and I'll, you'll see how to do that in the following slides. Uh, let's see if I can move this around. Okay. So this is a standard inch dial caliper, and this measures uh, no more than six inches. So this will go out all the way to six inches. And you have your dial, and then these. You, you, let me just go through this. So if you're measuring the outside length of an object, the measurement is made between the caliper faces shown. So this would be an example. So that's how you would measure the outside length. I'll teach you how to read this in a moment. The measurement is made between the caliper faces shown for inside length. So look at this image. So if you had a hole, um, like an object like this, you would put the uh, teeth inside of it, measure it like that. Measuring step length, so if you want to make a measurement that's made between the caliper faces shown below, uh, here's the example. You would use the back side of the caliper. So you would have, so for example, if I wanted to measure this thing right here, see how that works? Then you just read the, the dial. Uh, if you wanted to measure depth, the end of the dial caliper comes out. You see that? So if you had, if you, there was a hole in a part that didn't go all the way through but stopped, like let, like halfway through or some distance through, you would be able to use that end that comes out to measure and you would just read the reading on the caliper face, the dial. Alright, so there's parts. So this is the blade. Okay, The blade is the movable portion of the dial caliper. The slider, this is the slider and it moves along the blade. Okay. The blade scale divides each inch into 10 increments. So each increment equals one tenth of an inch, or 0 0.100. This is the dial, and on the dial is the black pointer. The long end is your reading. So the pointy part, the long end, that's your reading. So the pointer rotates within the dial as the slider moves back and forth along the blade. The reference edge keeps track of larger increments, so that point 0.1 as the slider moves along the track. So this right here keeps track of the larger increments. Okay, so the reference edge, whatever that indicates, so if you go past the 2, that would be a point 0.2. If you go past the 1, it would be point 0.1. And there's a rack. This rear tooth rack gear is used to change linear motion. So that rack, you see it looks like little teeth. It helps move the slider. And it also moves the pointer. Okay. So before measuring anything, you need to make sure, let's move this down. You need to make sure that your dial pointer is 
at the zero mark. So you're going to close your dial caliper, loosen the dial lock, okay, the dial lock's underneath, and make sure that your dial pointer is on zero. It might be somewhere else, it might not always point straight up. So each time the pointer completes one rotation within the dial, the reference edge on the slider moves a distance of one blade scale increment, or 0 0.100 inches. One revolution of the pointer within the dial represents one tenth of an inch. The div dial is divided a hundred times, therefore each gradu graduation equals one thousandth of an inch. The best way to learn how to do this is by practicing and looking at this example. So to determine the outside diameter of this pipe section, we're going to first identify how many inches are being showed on the blade scale. So we went past the large one inch mark. So the reference edge is located between the one and two inch marks. Okay, so you would record the significant digit. So you would write one, and then you would look at the uh, where the that edge is. So it's past the point four. So you would write point four. Okay, so after you do that, you keep going. You look at the dial itself, and the dial is at the at 0 0.037 mark. So you would literally just count the number on the dial and you would record that. So when you put this all together you get 0 0.1437. So let's look at this block. How wide is the block? Okay, so it's past the one inch mark. It's past the four on the blade itself, and then the dial is reading 0 0.002. If you look really closely at that, you would count this. You would go one, two, and since it's before the 10 here, it's going to be 0 002. So this would be 0 0.001, 0 0.002, 0 0.003, 0 0.004, 0 0.05. 0, 06, 0, 07, 0, 08, 0, 09, and then 10. So this block is 1.40 inches wide. Now you have an activity called making measurements. You're going to move on and do that. Um, what I have in front of me here are some parts and an actual dial caliper. Okay, so get yourself a dial caliper. And let me see if I can. There we go. Make sure that the dial itself with the teeth closed is zeroed out so you can move that. You might have to loosen up the dial lock here. Okay. And um, let me just show you physically how this works. So if I were to move, put my thumb here, move this to the right, see the dial moving. put my object or part inside of the caliper faces and close it. I don't want to squeeze it too much. Hey, okay, let's look at that. So what is that reading? If you said 0 0.740, I'm sorry, 0 0.739, you are correct. Because we're past the 7. We're not past the 8, so it's going to be 0.7, and then we would count, since it's past the 10, we would just count these numbers here. So it's at the 39 mark. So it's 0.739. Okay, let's zero that out again. Let's try something a little smaller. Okay, what is this reading? If you said 0 0.503, you are correct. What about the this length? 
So this is one inch, it's past the one here. 1.08, because it's before that 10. And what about this block right here? That's point, that's 1.04. Okay, so um, grab your making measurements activity packet and a Automoblox vehicle and a set of dial calipers. Please be careful with these. They're very sharp. They break easily and they're not cheap. Um, and ask me questions as you go along. Don't hesitate.